Hey guys, what's up? In this video I'm going to be talking about the Windows 8 Transformation Pack. I've spoken about the Windows 7 Transformation Pack multiple times as well as the Vista Transformation Pack. And this time we've talked about the Windows 8 Transformation Pack. There's, there's a lot of them out there and I've tried six or seven of them and this is by far the best. There are a few bugs in this version but they're all very easily worked around. I just wanted to show you this, this Transformation Pack. Now it's a very easy download. You just go to the website I'll link in the description too. You download it. You click install and it does the rest. No reboot needed, which is really nice. So this is a little icon that you'll be given once you've downloaded it. Just simply click, double click on it, install as you normally would, and you'll have it. So this is it. There's some massive changes and there's some minor changes. First of all, start with this little icon down here. We'll go into the library, and you can see a little bit's changed in here. Not really all that much, but the main, obviously, being the new tabbing section over here. So you click onto your right hand side here, and you get the time which is really nice nice little stylish time in a little metro style and you get these which is search share start connect and settings so let's go to search first of all and you, and you get like a, a search feature of course where you can search a whole machine which is like when you go to the start menu in Windows 7 you go back from that it brings you back here and you click on the side again and you get back to this tabbing section so it's quite nice now I've discovered that share is a little bit bugged and I will go into more detail about that in a minute so go to start and that brings you to this lovely tabbing section as you can see you can scroll but I haven't got many things installed yet so we'll start off with the Internet Explorer section as you can see this is a really nice little browser that's built in straight into the tab section um, and you can this is the you'll see URL bar you can type stuff into and it's a quite a nice and fast um, little browser but the only problem being is it requires you to type HTTP otherwise it will search on Bing which is kind of annoying but as you can see it's pretty damn fast so it's, it's a nice little browser there uh, next we go on to if you click that it just brings you to the Windows Live um, website which is just the people who created this if you go to store and this is a really nice little feature store allows you to change the different tabs and, and items and apps that you have within that new section so for instance if you want Twitter on there you can click on it click install and the next time you want to have that end, you just restart Nugent, which is this this whole little application thing, which is called, and it'll work. As simple as that. So there's tons in here. There's tons of stuff that's installed already, and tons of stuff that you can install and update. So you can just hang over it, and it will tell you what it may look like. So for instance, Hotmail, that's another update you can have, and all different updates that you can have, and all different ones installed and available. Like I said, so we go back out of store, and next you have the the weather, which you can't actually really click on that as such to use. I didn't mean to drag that. So next you have the Windows Media Player which is just your standard Windows Media Player which just pops up from uh, your little start bar or your menu. The next is Socialite which scrolls onto the side which allows you to log into stuff like Facebook and Twitter and that adds it onto the the main screen when you log on. Next you have Video which will just simply bring up all your videos which only have the, the Windows Life in HD thing, the wildlife in HD thing. Pictures which will just bring up all your pictures desktop which will bring you back to your nice little lovely Windows 7 desktop about to start and you have computer which will again obviously bring up your computer and the time and date which is a really nice little drop down thing and to get that out you just literally scroll up click and scroll up so it's quite nice you've also got a lock so you know this is really the only massive changes in here oh and obviously you can change this around and switch and whatnot if need be now there is a few buggy things like I did say there was so if you click on here and then you go into share you have this little thing here and yes you can quite easily remove that as such if you want to but then you kinda get stuck in here sometimes and as, as you just seen just here if you click off of that and then into it again it's gone and you can't get back to your home screen and you're stuck on the friends section so now you're stuck you can't get back to your your main page and you can't get back over there again now of course you can use your tabbing section and use program still but you can't get back to your desktop if you do need to do this it's a very simple fix do control or delete go into start task manager go to processes and then keep scrolling down until you see new gen once you see that just end the process that cancels that whole program and you're able to get back to your desktop again but now you're wondering how do I get this thing back it's a very small bug it happens very rarely um, you just click on this again you close to configure it will open up their main website as well as that and then it will say configure Windows 8 features you'll get this different desktop look for a minute like the background wallpaper 
let it configure and then it will work again like I said this is a little bit of a minor bug but it is very easily changed and fixed and you'll know that it's working because the, the wallpaper will change back again and your start bar will disappear and then come back so once that's done which says Windows 8 UX pack this will open again and you'll be back into it you'll be able to click on this right side again and use the system as always and you can get back in here again so it's a really nice little that Windows 8 transformation pack there's not really all that much to it as I said it's mainly just this section and it is really easily uninstalled and nothing stays so go to Windows 8 UX pack 3.5 which is the one I'm using and click uninstall you say are you sure you want to uninstall click yes it bring up your theming section again once that's done it will leave you in this you go out and everything's back to normal again you do not have the side section anymore your buttons change back and everything is back to normal there is no differences at all the only thing I find a bit weird is every single time I install and uninstall this for some reason my icons change and they're no longer in the place I put them in but other than that there's no difference so as I said this is a really nice little theme pack there's no nothing left over when you uninstall which is really nice and it's just a nice little way to get that new side tapping section if you do like these videos please do comment rate and subscribe thank you very much for watching